It was another beautiful day at Hudson Crossing Park, and Henry was full of energy and ready to play with his best friend, Harriet. He found her hiding under some leaves, and that gave Henry an idea for the first thing they should do today. Come on, Harriet, Henry said. Let's play a game of hide and seek. It turned out that Harriet was a little better at hiding than Henry was. But it was a fun game no matter what. Next, Henry and Harriet raced as fast as they could down the road towards the Dix Bridge. It was a lot longer than it looked, and Harriet decided she wanted to take a little break and spend some time reading the signs that tell more about the park. Henry wasn't quite ready to take a break, and he spent some time hanging upside down from the fence by the Dix Bridge Gardens. Next, they went to the Bridge of Boats Overlook, and Harriet sat on the benches looking out on the river, thinking how beautiful this view was. Henry found a tree where some beavers had tried to cut it down. Yong, 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 said Henry. Look, Harriet, I'm a beaver. Come down and be a beaver with me. Come on, Harriet, come on, Henry cried. Harriet was very quiet. Then she said, Henry, come up here and come with me. I want to show you something. Harriet led Henry down the trail along the Hudson River. Henry was still full of energy, but Harriet seemed a lot quieter than she had in the beginning of the day. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Henry said. Then he realized Harriet had led him to the secret garden. Harriet, Henry said, I thought we were going somewhere new. I know the secret garden. We've been here tons of times. But then Henry saw that his friend was sitting in something that he hadn't seen at the secret garden before. There were colorful rocks that had been painted and said things like, don't worry, be happy, and love. Henry sat next to his friend under the pergola on a beautiful stone bench. What do we do here, Harriet? Henry said. Here, Harriet said, we sit and we're quiet. But the park is for playing, Henry said. Not always, said his friend. Sometimes the park is a great place to sit and think and just reflect for a little while. Henry wasn't so sure about that. Later, when the two friends said goodbye to each other and Henry headed home, he couldn't stop thinking about what Harriet had said. He loved to come to the park and play, but was Harriet right? Did some people come to the park because it was a quiet, peaceful place? The next day, Henry visited Hudson Crossing Park again. But he didn't find his friend Harriet, and he didn't go to the play garden. Instead, Henry headed back to the secret garden. As he approached the pergola, he couldn't help but notice how quiet it was, and how pleasant the river sounded as it was burbling over the rocks. Why, he could even hear the birds singing. As Henry sat thinking about everything his friend had said, he noticed something that he didn't notice the day before. Why, it was an old telephone, and there was a sign next to it. It said, the telephone of the wind. This phone is for those who have lost someone they love to share the memories and to say the goodbyes you never got to say. 
At first, Henry didn't know who he would talk to, but then he thought of his great, great, great uncle who used to work on the canal. He picked up the phone and he dialed it. And soon, Henry found himself telling his uncle about all the wonderful adventures he had at Hudson Crossing Park. He told him how different the canal looked than when his uncle was there. And it wasn't long before Henry realized that what he wanted most to say was thank you. He wanted to thank his uncle for inspiring him to visit Hudson Crossing Park, where he met lots of wonderful people and made lots of wonderful friends. Henry decided that his best friend Harriet was right. Hudson Crossing Park is a great place to play, but it's also a wonderful place to sit and think and reflect and just be quiet. <laughs>